Thank you very much to Professor Prasad Setunga for shedding light on the incorporation of commercial shipping and maritime science into the school curriculum. Well, ladies and gentlemen, talking about education for the next generation of seafarers, we are delighted to share with you that this morning we will be witnessing the launch of the inaugural shipping textbook in Sri Lanka. Now, before the official launch of this textbook, however, it's our privilege to first and foremost introduce to you the author of the textbook, who is Professor Lalit Edirisingha, the Dean of the Faculty of Management and Social Sciences at Sinek Campus. Professor Lalit Edirisingha will be speaking to us and giving us an insightful introduction to this textbook on commercial shipping and maritime science. So with that, to now shed more details on this new textbook, let's welcome on stage Professor Lalit Edirisingha. Good morning. I feel as the uh, most enjoyed person in the world today, most happiest person in the world today, as an author, as an author, before I launched this book, I got the confirmation from the authorities that this book will be used as the textbook for the new subject introduced in Sri Lanka, commercial shipping and maritime science. Honorable Ministers, His Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as a seafarer, who sailed in our own shipping company, shipping corporation, Ceylon Shipping Corporation, as Captain Ajit was mentioning. It's a privilege to author a book and then uh, make use of that book for the future generation. First, I would like to thank Minister Honorable Nimal Siripad de Silva and Secretary Mr. Ruan Chandra for creating a platform to launch this book with the relevant audience. Ministry of Education and especially Professor Setunga the Director General of National Institute of Education for giving the due recognition and highest value by introducing the new subject, Commercial Shipping and Maritime Science. So just to, within the short period that I have, just to um, show you the synopsis of what this book contains since we are having mainly a uh, shipping crowd here and cadets also. What this book consists. So since we are going to introduce this book at junior level and trying to teach them commerce and science and this subject is not to be experienced in the normal world like a, a bank, a clerical job, but this is in the sea. So therefore, I thought we can attract students to read this book, first of all, <clears throat> and get the interest into the book to use as much as possible the illustrations. So this illustration shows that how the shipping 
evolved in the world. And uh, after evolving, then how the big ships came into the picture. Then you need the science to understand what shipping is. So the relevance of science in the shipping, uh, starting from grade six, it's a challenge, especially when we do not have teachers to teach this subject in schools with the knowledge in real shipping world, but using this kind of illustrations, we believe that it will go into their mind and as many speakers already mentioned today, we need the knowledge that can be put it into the practice, not to have it and just not doing anything but discussing. So these principles are used in shipping and in various stages of a ship moving from east to west and west to east these principles are having a relevance. So if students start learning these subjects from years grade six, I'm sure they will know how to use these principles, not just book knowledge. And to understand the, the climatic changes in the world and how it affects the shipping, the load that a ship can carry, how it affects. When you are moving from one ocean to another ocean, with its salty level, how a ship has an impact to that. So all these the students, I am sure they will be interested to learn. And how this happens? Why in some parts the salty content is more, why some parts is less? They should learn these things and they should be aware of these things and they should be familiar with those things if they really are going to use this knowledge into practice. With that, how you manage a ship using that knowledge, using that science. As Professor Setunga was mentioning, it is commercial shipping and maritime science. So this is the science. The practicality, if you notice a small boat from the ocean, how that uh, plays uh, in the ocean and this is the, the concept and the theory behind it. How ships navigate, what kind of skills that the, the cadets should know. In this book, the students will see and they will be interested to learn. The ship terms, when these terms are familiar to them, then I am sure they will be attracted to this subject. And as Captain mentioned, Captain Ajit was mentioning how this evolved and the job creation in this industry, how it happens and what we are today and what would be the future. Actually, I, I steal this from Captain Ajit's one of these presentations some time back. 
So I am giving the credit to Captain Ajit below there. And this is the commerce part of it. Shipping is not a direct demand in commerce terms. Although I am a doctor of engineering, I had to learn commerce to write this book because you cannot explain the, the real uh, business of uh, shipping or, or rather shipping transportation without having a knowledge in commerce because it is a derived demand of the international trade. Having ships does not serve any purpose unless two countries are having trading. So these things students will learn. Then there are very complications due to that commerce and science combination. So there are few ways that I have generated or rather created some uh, new way of people learning things by adding this kind of uh, models. And we all know that Sri Lanka, when we say our shipping, we are depending on 75% of Indian transshipment cargo in Sri Lanka. Our port throughput is only 25% of that only our local imports and exports. So in this book, I'm trying to emphasize on the fundamentals of hub concept especially uh, in, in, in uh, relation to the container shipping. And then the how Sri Lanka has become a strategic location, what are the weather conditions and the climatic conditions, how it has helped Sri Lanka to become a shipping hub, although we are still lagging behind in making it a real hub. At least we are getting uh, to at 75% of our port throughput from neighboring countries, especially India. So this is what has happened and this is how we have become a center for shipping from the ancient days. So students should know these things. And uh, this particular subject as uh, I'm very uh, happy and uh, I must thank uh, Professor Setunga who took a very prompt decision when this idea was given and when he really understood its value. Unlike most of government officials, he, he took initiatives immediately. And uh, this has taken into the syllabi not just because of he was enthusiastic about the proposal. It is based on this analysis. It was compared with the mapping of uh, eight national goals in education and it was mapped with the 12 objectives of this subject and then only this syllabus was developed. Finally, we are there. And Ministry of Shipping, Port Shipping and Aviation, thank you, sirs, that you are the one who sent the first letter to the Ministry of Education requesting that maritime education should be 
in the school curriculum. Thank you very much, sir. Then only we were able to convince if that first request had not gone, I don't think I'll be sitting in front of you today to launch this book. So finally, to see whom we are targeting in this book, it's mainly the school children and up to the degree where Sinek got the approval from the ministry to conduct. So thank you very much and uh, wish you all the very best and uh, next item comes for the uh, launching of the book. Thank you.